Bluffton University football riding high recently. The Beavers have won two in a row, including a big victory last week against Rose Holman. Bluffton forced five turnovers against one of the top-ranked offenses in the country. Now the Beavers prepare for a conference contest on the road at Earlham. Matt Finkel has more with the Beavers. Denny Doro got his first win as Bluffton head coach two weeks ago against Hanover, and the opponent he defeated made it even more special. It's only the second time in the last 19 years Bluffton's ever beat Hanover, and so obviously, you know, that I played there and coached there had a little extra, uh, you know, feeling for me. Um, I'm just, you know, excited to get a win. Now that was the main thing at that point in the season. It gives us some momentum so we can practice harder each day, and you know, we always getting better each practice. So it's nice to win, gets to get our heads up, and then keep moving, building off of that. After a great showing last week at Rolls Hulman, Bluffton now has two wins and things are coming together for the Beavers. We're very hungry right now. We understand that it's one game at a time and we have huge goals that are still available for us this year and we're just going to go attack one game at a time and hopefully we keep improving week to week like we have in the past. Going into that week, obviously we were winless, but we our theme of the week was if we got to get our first one, it's got to be against Hanover. And then once we got Hanover, the tempo of practice picked up, everybody's enthusiasm, and which helped going into Rose because we knew they were a great football team and knew that we were going to have to do everything we needed to get that win. The defense has played really well during the winning streak, limiting the Fighting Engineers' explosive offense last week and dominating the turnover battle. It's a feat that Coach Doral knew his team was capable of. We're only having two and a half weeks to install an offensive, defensive, special teams. We just honestly weren't probably ready to play. and uh, But we could see it, that we were doing some really <laughs> some things really well. And uh, it all came together this past Saturday against, again, a great offense, number one offense in the country. And held, holding them basically 300 yards below their average is uh, quite the feat. Rose is a great football team also. Uh, obviously, they put up the stats to prove that they're pretty potent on offense. And it was nice that our offense could keep keep their offense off the field. Next up on the schedule is Earlham, and Bluffton is hoping to continue its solid play tomorrow to get back to 500 on the season. We said to have another great week of practice, keep preparing as hard as what we do every week, and uh, play as a team. and. And come, hopefully we come out on top. Again, minimize their athletes. They got, you know, I call them dudes. They got dudes all over the place. And if we can just minimize, you know, their chances, their opportunities, tackle really well in space, um, hopefully we can be successful again. We're going to have to stick to our offensive. We're going to have to stick to our guts, do everything, be assignment sound, uh, trust everybody that they're going to do their assignments and win all three phases and get a W. In Bluffton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.